Futures trading involves risk and is not suitable for all investors. Content provided in this segment is meant for educational purposes and is not a solicitation to buy or sell commodities. Yeah, people, it's Wednesday afternoon and once again, time for the most important report in dairy. This is the NDPSR. I'm Joe Schmidt, joined as always by Paige Driscoll. And this, of course, is Basis Loaded, the breakdown of the previously mentioned report, the NDPSR. So let's dive right in with butter. Kind of a ho-hum release for butter. Here this number at 208.98 is a meager 75 cents above the CME one week average of 208.25. And we have added a wrinkle for this week's report. We actually have some charts, uh, some hard data to back up what I'm saying here, because of course you don't want to trust me. We have to trust the data. And when it comes to data around here, we always defer to Maggie Allen, the rice dairy quantitative analyst, and she's put together some charts for us. So let's dive right in. The first is the butter basis chart. And what we have here in light blue, this is the one year butter average, which is one over. So as I said, the this week's NDPSR basis was 75 over, so we're in line with the one year norm. But I think it's also interesting to notice that the last two weeks we've reverted to a normal basis in butter. This is after multiple weeks where we had the butter basis printing five over. So normalcy has returned in butter. We'll see how it behaves now that prices at the CME seem to be heading a little bit lower. And then on to cheese. The cheese number here so once again, this is a very impressive block number to 1539. I have that at two cents uh, ish over the two week average of 21347. Again, really good volume, almost 14 million pounds. And I have this as the high block number. So the fact that they were able to print two over at the high of the move, I think is quite impressive and then we'll move over to our historical data and here again in light blue is the one year average so i normally say that the block basis should be two cents the one year average is two and a half cents so a little bit less basis here than the one year average but still impressive considering we're at the high end of the move and then moving on to barrels this is a big barrel number, 229.13, up almost nine cents from the prior week. And this is on a 10 cent move in CME values when you take into account the two week average. And then, so here are the barrels backed up by hard data. The one year barrel basis average is four cents over. So you'll see at minus two, as the two week barrel average was 231.55, a little bit of a disappointment, but the fact that the NDPSR was able to keep up towards the high end of the range, really impressive. Able to make up nine cents on a 10 cent move in CME. And now what's interesting, if you, are, if you strictly adhere to this two week average in the barrel, next week's average on the CME two week average is a little bit lower. But I feel that since we spent about nine days at this level, the basis will revert closer to normal. So even though we have a lower two week average at the CME, I think the NDPSR print next week will be a little bit higher and that will more than likely be the high print for this barrel move. And moving on to way. Here in the way, this is a little, bit dis of, a little bit of a disappointment, at least to me, because I'd been on a little bit of a hot streak of predicting the way, and I had the way number coming in at 2830 with 2 million pounds coming in at the exchange. So last week after missing it by just a penny, this week I'm off by a full $1.30. Ouch, that one hurt. So I'm not sure what happened, uh, the formula was still pretty good and we had a lot of volume at the CME. Perhaps there was an export deal. We had a big shipment go to Kuala Lumpur uh, based on last month's average. Great for the manufacturer to sell at a premium. Great for the people of Kuala Lumpur to get some high quality U.S. products. But I think moving forward, I'm still going to stick to the two parts NDPSR, one part CME. And my prediction for next week's way is 28 cents. And the week after, the volume declined sharply. So 
I have to tweak my formula a little bit. I'm using four parts NDPSR, one part CME, and coming up with a 29 cent weigh number for the final week of November pricing. And it'll be interesting going into December. We've seen a lot of enthusiasm in the futures as the CME weigh has moved higher. But now it's important to remember that we're not trading anything at the CME. So that is just a number. It's just a benchmark. There are no sales that are reported to the NDPSR based on that number. All of the sales that are going in are going to be based on two weeks prior NDPSR. There is no one part. It's all prior week's NDPSR. So we have a little bit of enthusiasm on the wave futures curve with the increases that we've seen in CME. And I think it will be a little bit of a reality check as we move forward into the December NDPSR releases. And lastly, moving on to non-fat. Okay, in non-fat, we typically, I've typically said that I like to use a penny over for historical basis. But you'll see here, and this is why we count on Maggie around here for our data, that the one-year average non-fat basis is negative. Looks like it's about negative four. So almost, not quite half a cent. So a little bit of a surprise that on this rally that's lasted almost a year, you know, the NDPSR has lagged a little bit to CME values and we have this negative basis. This week's number here at 115.49, up over a penny on really light volume, represents a minus one basis, which is an improvement. You'll see that we had over a three cent discount here and then a two cent discount last week. And now we're also, or now ultimately this week, we're at a minus one basis. But it's interesting because just as the NDPSR is caught up with the CME, the CME had paused at that 16 half neighborhood for three weeks. And it took that much time for us just to get a negative one basis. Now prices at the CME jumped again. So I expect us to go back to this negative basis that we saw in weeks prior. Uh, that's it for me. We'll uh, see how she goes at the CME. I hope the charts add to your understanding of basis and what we're trying to do here. We'll see what the future holds. Until then, I'm Joe on behalf of Paige. Have a great week. Thanks. Bye. Thanks for watching RDTV. If you enjoyed that, be sure to subscribe. And if you have any questions, leave us a comment below or send us an email. You can also follow Rice Dairy on Facebook, Twitter, and LinkedIn. See you next week.